I'm Kinsey Rump and I work at Tattooed Heart. I've worked here for about five years. I'm 11 years into tattooing. My style is abstract expressionism, watercolor. The piece I'm gonna be doing today is not particularly watercolor, it's more brush stroke. I enjoy like working with a client to make the tattoo flow with their body rather than being something that has very clear defined edges. My clients really enjoy kind of the way that I apply a stencil because it's very collage and it's very collaborative with them. I'm doing a giant brushwork piece. To get all those details, I'm probably gonna use a three tight liner for part of it. I'm gonna also pull out a round shader. Typically, I use a nine round shader. Probably do that at a pretty low speed that you would typically use for a mag. I'm gonna put out a five mag that I'll go back over everything and kind of smooth out any inconsistencies that I get from using the liner. I'm gonna be using world famous outlining ink. Because I am an abstract artist, I really like uh, non-representational work. That doesn't always work for tattoos. I have a lot of clients that want kind of a main element in their piece. And then I do like either a sketchy style with it or I'm adding more energy with lighter lines as well as emphasizing the element that they've given me. I use a lot of pattern with my work. I use a lot of different color and fading watercolor techniques where I make it look like watercolor as applied to their skin. I really enjoy the idea that that my pieces have a really good flow. I try to use color, boldness of line to kind of move your eye through the piece. And one of the things that's most important to me is that when you see the tattoo from a distance, you may not be able to see all the elements, but from a distance, you can see the tattooed skin has a nice flow. The fact that I'm a painter as well, I'm thinking about fine art concepts and how they relate to a tattoo. Thinking about balance, composition, I, specifically ask for references of pieces that I have already done so that I know that they've looked at my work because it is a little non-traditional and I want to know what they like about my work, what makes me the artist to do your piece. This client specified that she wanted brush stroke and a lot of energy and she referenced some pieces I had done in the past that were like that. When I sat down to design hers, I knew I wanted to use a lot of big sweeping motions with the brush stroke. I wanted to engage the whole leg. I didn't use a picture of her specific leg. Sometimes I'll ask for that, especially if there's pre-existing tattoos that I'm working around. Really, I just use the template of a leg to kind of show where things were going to lie, because if you don't do that, then it's like, is this the calf? Is this the thigh? Where is it at? That's just a mock-up, and most of my clients, I couldn't do that in the verbiage of the email, where I'm like, this is just a concept. There will be changes. I use Procreate for all of my designing. I made a bunch of shapes with a Procreate um, dry brush and just made a bunch of sweeping motions and just created some shapes that I was happy with. I'm gonna start with those big shapes that I've stenciled. The reason that I stencil them is so that I can get a lot of bold blacks and the texture from a brush. And then I'm gonna go in with, this is actually the stain that's in a stencil paper, um, but you can actually paint it on the skin and it will stain it just like a stencil. It wears off pretty quickly. That's one of the reasons why I also stencil the brushwork, which is the main part of the design, but I will use that for like the splatter and creating energy around those brush strokes as I lay it out. I like it when the brush stroke highlights and complements the body just knowing the anatomy in the leg, that I'm gonna to try to highlight that and just so that the brush stroke doesn't fight with her natural curvature. Being that she is a woman, I'm also gonna to try to just make it super feminine. I will size out the brush strokes that I have already printed out. Some of them may get smaller just so that it's a little bit daintier. The references she gave me were pretty bold. So we're gonna to try to like dance that and try to find a good balance. And like I said, they, they really seem to enjoy that process of kind of watching it evolve.